Hey y'all, you ready to cook? Y'all, this song used to make me cry when I was a kid. I thought I would express my emotions with some spoke with some of my written words while people arrive. How about that? The La Glendala. Wash my paws. All right, I hope everybody's here. You're cooking live with Paula Dean, y'all. Sorry, it's a new haircut, but what do you think of the look? <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm ready to eat, y'all. I'm not even trying to waste no time because Teresa, I'm yelling, sorry. Hold on, I'm gonna turn it on me for a second. Okay, Teresa's gonna say hello. Let me catch my breath. Hey guys, what's up? Is it a good angle? I mean, you, I mean. Fabulous, baby. Hey, hello. Hi, I'll be doing all the camera work. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I would first of all like to give props to uh, Linda and Glenda uh, because uh, I actually named this. This is a nice, as you'll see, this is a nice lapel fan. Uh, and it blows up, you see? <laughs> I call it the La Glendala. <laughs> All right, so let me He's put my cable He's been so away. excited about this fan. I love this Leglindola, y'all. I've already gone, they left me batteries too. So uh, I've already gone through one set of batteries. This is my second thing. I hope it don't go dead. Okay, so y'all, let's go ahead. Um, what I'm gonna do, we got our pork chops. I'm gonna go ahead and get some salt and pepper on there because it needs to absorb because we're gonna dust them with a little bit of flour here in a second. All right, y'all? Wait, you gotta talk slower. You're so wound up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> See, Tiffany agrees. She says, please go slow. Okay, is that better? Yes. You know I can't think this slow. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> like I said last week, cooking food, you know, food does not care how slow you learn. Because, you know, the cooking marches on. Okay? So <laughs> I just talk in the pace that I cook. And I'm hungry. All right, do it. All right, so last week, y'all saw my salt box almost fell apart. Well, guess what happened? Honey, it looked like uh, I was Solomon's wife, and I looked like I turned around, turned into a pillar of salt, honey. That thing hit the flow. So, um, you know, I got the good salt off the top in this little bowl here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add a little salt and pepper uh, to these pork chops, because like I said, I'm going to dust them in a second. And we want that salt and pepper and stuff to get absorbed in there. Otherwise, it's going to be real bland, okay? Constance is here. 
Hey, Constance. Hold on, I'm gonna rinse my hands real quick since I just handled this pork chop. And you know, I be watching those YouTube videos on pork, so I don't mess around with the pork. Who said I needed to get a salt box? Oh, I forgot who said that one. Look at this. I got a salt bowl. How about that? There you go. All right, so like I always, you know, I always dust them basically like, you know, I dust them one time with salt and then I pretend I flip them over. That's and then, a lot more salt. No, because I do two dustings on the, um, on, you know, on the pork chop. Would you let me just finish? Sorry. I'm trying to explain okay. myself. Okay. But that's a good question. So it looks like a lot of salt, but I don't flip the pork chops and salt them on the other side because I get, I put everything on the top. So I basically do enough for both sides and then I get in there and I like to massage my meat. <laughs> okay, let me rinse my hands. So y'all add your salt and pepper and all that good stuff. I like this nice McCormick grinder. These are the ones that you can get at the restaurant. And, um, you know, I really do like them because, you know, you just wipe them down with a nice hot napkin. You can stick them right in your purse, honey. That's why they get, that's why they started doing those, um, those disposable ones, you know, because, like, at the, um, Angus Barn here in Raleigh, it's a little, um, uppity place just to get an expensive ass piece of Harris Teeter meat but it's still good y'all it's still real good um but I got a couple of their salt shakers and grinders so um they put little tags on them now those bitches have an alarm when you walk through the door hey Tiffany has a question go for it Tiffany what's your question oh, honey there it is she was about to say are we going to use the garlic but I guess yes you I'm just, I've just everything with the garlic honey so you see did y'all see how, how much, much how much so you see I just put a nice little dusting of it and once over, just like I would if on one side, and then my, my, I close my eyes when I open them, they're naked and on the other side. Whoop, 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 one more. All right, so now I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to massage them. You know, it's just like, you know, pretend like you're like 17 and in the back seat of the car. <laughs> you know, you're at a dance. Oh, oh, here, how about this? You got yourself an older date. They real hot to try. They know what they're doing. You don't. Let the, massage the meat like they did to you, Okay. Mm. You smell it? This is raw pork and it smells so good. Well, that's unusual. Alright, so I've got that massage in there. So I'm just going to uh, set that to the side for a second. I'm going to go rinse off my hands. One second. So, Teresa. Did you want to hear who's here? Yeah, who all's here? We have got Lori, Aunt Lissa Lissa, Lucille, Glenda, Chad, Amy, Andrea, Constance, Trish, Amanda, Sylvia, Angie, Lucy, my mom. Hey, mom. Hey, Helen. <laughs> She's probably watching with CZ. Oh, uh, Linda's not... there with Glenda. Bernadette. I don't like the way the middle of this onion looks. Tiffany and Sweet. I don't think that onion's so. good. Is that onion bad? Oh, that don't Ooh, look right. we're quite. asking you. Wait, hold it up with Stella. Uh, I don't like it. I'm not Did using it. We just it. get this today? Yes, today, of course. Oh. That don't look right. Do y'all know anything? Who... I'm not using it. I mean, I'm not using no rat. No. Did we get an onion in our produce box? Uh uh, no onions this week. So we're going to um, pretend that this is a, um, we're going to um, use a half an onion. I am. You go ahead and use your whole onion. Hopefully, your onion don't look like a butthole in the middle of it. Okay? Everyone said, don't use it. Hell no, I'm not using it. And let me tell you something. Uh, if this one looks like a butthole, then y'all are going to witness a nasty phone call. Because guess where I got this from? Lowe's Foods. Here we try to give them a second chance. Okay, we got pink. We're Much good. better. That's green. That's that's right. Y'all, I mean, have you ever seen an onion look like that? Cece says, hey. Hey, Cece. How you doing, baby? Sing. Sing a song. Sing out loud. Sing out strong. There you go. That was for you, baby. Get your ass to bed, sweetheart. Yes. Get your ass to bed. Go to bed. I know you done worn out your Mimi and your doodad. Y'all, let me tell you something, how awesome my father-in-law is, y'all. Y'all know I be bitching all the time, but seriously, since I have uh, them watching, let me just tell y'all, while my uh, spoiled ass comes back from getting coffee today, what do I come home to? My father-in-law is on a damn ladder fixing uh, the wood that had kind of rotted up around the gutter, so we're going to pretend like this is just one small onion, okay, y'all? So you're using a whole onion. I'm using, if you're just tuning in, well, you need to catch. You need to catch up first of all. But we're gonna. This that onion had a butthole. We're not using it. Oh, Kinsey says, "Hey, Justin." Hey, boo boo. Go ahead and um, heat up your skillet. 
Alright. Actually, I'm gonna use the cast iron skillet because I'm gonna fry out these pork chops. You gonna in here. use this thing again, huh? Yeah, this is why I'm gonna fry my pork chops and make my gravy and everything in. I'm gonna do my green beans in here because I need to crisp up some bacon. Trish, okay. it said two onions, but one of them looked pretty awful. Yeah, so one of the really onions. Gonna, we're gonna compromise onions, and just use one. One of the onions ate curry last night. Oh. You understand, Trish? You understand we what I'm saying? We have all made that choice. And it really did have kind of an odor to it, y'all. It, mm -hmm. it kind of had a, a smell. Let me tell y'all a little trick about bacon. So, uh, chopping bacon, like when you need like little pieces of bacon, it is real hard to chop sometimes. Because, you know, that fat gets on the knife and, it, you know, you start having to just drag the mm -hmm. knife through it. So what I do is I just like slightly freeze uh, the meat, like if I have to slice it raw, I slightly freeze it for like 15, 20 minutes and it's kind of like, it's not frozen, but it's like, you see, it's kind of like, you hear it? Listen. Can you hear it? Oh, a little bit. Kind of sounds like when you step in something sticky and walk through the house, like with hardwood floors. It's just like a sounds little like bit that. firmer. Mm -hmm. Wait, how long did you say you kept it in the freezer? Like 15, that? 20 minutes. Just feel oh. it. You know, that's what your fingers are for. You know, just feel them. And if you're an amputee, that's what your toes are for, honey. Stick your toes up in there <laughs> and it should feel like that, okay? Um, let's go ahead and throw the green beans. Put them in the microwave or whatever you need to do. We just Show need to go ahead. Get. These are the ones that I get. They're just any kind in a bag, that or that amount. Uh, you just want to either, um, if you don't have the microwave kind, uh, you're just going to like drop these in some water for like a couple minutes. And if you don't have time to do that, then don't worry about it. You just need to cook them longer on the damn stove. It's really not a big deal. So those are not frozen. Those these are, are not fresh. frozen. These are fresh. Um, they already snapped uh, and washed and everything. And so all you do is put it in here for, to cook them all the way, it says put in here for three to five minutes. I only want to like partially cook them because I'm going to finish cooking them in the skillet with all the good stuff. But I'm gonna I'll start. I'm gonna let nature, you know, work in my favor first of all. So I'm only gonna do it for like two and a half minutes, okay? Two and a half minutes. This has been heating up. I'm gonna add a little olive oil into the um cat. <laughs> my fault. I'm add a little olive oil into the cast iron skillet here. Lucille has to go. Bye, Lucille. Bye, Lucille. Well, clearly somebody's not cooking with me. She's gotta go to work. I love her so much. I don't, she can go wherever the hell she wants. That's my girl. So I'm just gonna add a little olive oil. I'm gonna do like, you know, one, you know, two buckle my shoe, just a little bit. And I'm actually gonna start with, I'm gonna start with a little bacon. So let's go ahead and open up this bacon, y'all. I don't know how much uh, measurements are because I normally don't use measurements. Uh, so, you know. All right, let me put this pack right here. Pork packages make me so just. Ugh. One second. Lend us a slow down just for a second. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sorry, y'all. I'm so damn hungry. All right, so y'all, I I don't know. I think you're supposed to use two different cutting boards uh, if you work in a restaurant. You know, one for meat, one for vegetables. But I'm cooking all this shit together, so, and I'm not in a restaurant, so. One cutting board. So you'll see, like, watch how it cuts. Can you come over here a little bit closer, mm -hmm. baby? So as that is heating up, it's a little bit high. So we're gonna, oh, by the way, it's just gonna like medium high, medium to medium high, just get the skillet nice and hot. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just get this bacon cut in little strips. Now you see how the, the knife just kind of slides through it when it's partially frozen? Now normally when oh, you wow. cut bacon, it's like, Stringy. it's slimy and it gets all over the place. It's just what? disgusting. So this is like 15 to 20 minutes. You need to, listen though, all this fat in here, once it hits the room temperature, honey, listen, it already starts to get warm just from like your hands. So you need to work fast if you want to use this bacon, okay? And I like the bacon. I'm not gonna use the whole pack, dear God. Why not? Well, okay, what the hell. I mean, what are you saying there for? True. And that is true. That's always the part that I always um, kind of savor. So I like to fry up the bacon just a little bit. How's everybody going on the pace? Am I doing all right? I'm making it on my pan. Yeah, I want to show what you're cooking at. Go for it. It's like, what, what number is that on? I can't really hear uh, it. This is on six and a, uh, six point five, six and a half. And keep it on this, baby, because I'm about to throw some in here. Said, use the whole pack. She was going to smack you. I used the whole pack, sweetheart. I used the whole pack, baby. Whole pack on the bacon. Was that a pound of bacon? 
That was a whole pound, bitches. That's a whole pound. You hear that? A whole pound. That's a cast iron skillet. So yeah, that's why if you have another skillet, you might have it on a little bit higher heat. But this cast iron skillet, honey, this thing gets hot as hell. It's a um, and I would lie and tell you it's a hand me down, but on the bottom of it it says emerald. It's the Emerald Legacy one from uh, JC Penny, y'all. Yeah, All right. That's the best thing. I mean, that and this pan, I think you cook everything in these two pans. These two pans right here. There ain't nothing I don't cook in these two pans except for noodles. And yes, Betty, the handles are a little weird on this pot. This one right there. She thinks the handles are weird. That's because it's a roasting pan. This is actually the top of a deep roaster, and I use it as a casserole. So, y'all, that's enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and add these onions. I'm going to go ahead and just slice these up. Linda just put her bacon in the pan. Awesome. All right, well, I'm just slicing up the onions. I like them in little strips, just about like little green beans, you know? I don't have a cutting technique, so if people are, um, if there's cooks in the, uh, in the house, then uh, they're probably freaking out at how I'm cutting, because I get real close to cutting my fingertips off, y'all. But you know- so now you just like throw, oh, you put them right in there with the bacon. Yeah, honey, I put that shit right there with the bacon. Now, listen. You need to add a little salt and pepper to your, um, just a little bit of salt. That's too, uh, too much I grabbed. I'm going to salt. Um, yeah, to your onions. Onion. Because that's going to help draw out the moisture of your vegetables by adding a little salt to it. And you want that onion juice to get down in that bacon juice as it starts to fry. And this is where I turn the heat up, honey. I just turn that up to about eight and a half, and I want this shit to start frying together. You want it to cook fast? Yes, right now. I'm wanting to get a nice, um, real brown, almost a caramelization on these two ingredients right here, y'all. Why do you make the onions so big? Why don't you chop them up real small? Uh, because uh, I like them to have about the same uh, bite as the uh, green beans. So, like, if you're using a fork, you get everything in one bite. And they all kind of trap yeah, the kitchen. Like <laughs> yeah, and it'll all be in the bottom of your, pa of your pan. You can never get it. You have to, like, scoop it out and then turn it upside down. You know, to get it on. Oh my gosh, y'all can smell this. It smells like the state fair minus the manure. <laughs> oh. Y'all like so see? It's just a sizzling away. How's it going over there, Linda? Linda? And the reason I start these first is this takes the longest, y'all, because I cook my green beans until those bitches are gray, honey. I don't like any green in my beans. Okay? <laughs> That's the southern way. All right? So we've got that, that's about, that's about, no, I'm going to do a little bit longer. I'm going to do it a little bit hotter. So, how's everybody doing? Did you get chicken broth in a box or in a can? Oh, so which one you got? This is the one I got. And I'm going to get paid by them. Mm. Swanson. All right, look. Is there any kind of chicken broth not to use, like can? Uh, I don't use the kind, on? I don't kind, I use the kind of sodium free. Because you know. I mean, unless you just, unless you finna die if you eat sodium, I mean, what the hell? You still have to add salt to it. Mm. You know? Oh, hey, baby. Don't listen to daddy's swear words. Ignore those parts, okay, baby? <laughs> All right, so that's about crispy enough for me. So let's go and add these Wait green beans in. What? That's just good enough. Well, it's like you see how the edges are starting to crisp up a little? Hold on, because now I'm going to add the green beans in. So let me show you what I'm going to do with the green beans. Hold on. Keep it on there because I'm going to open up this dirty ass cabinet. Can you open up, can you hold up a scoop so I can see it like it's all jumbled together? Yeah. No butter yet, Bernadette. No, it's about to get added in, y'all. Don't worry. Okay. The butter, I don't want it to burn because I'm cooking it on a higher heat. And if you add in that butter, it's going to burn like hell and it's going to taste like shit. So you add butter and garlic to, kind of towards the end. So I use olive oil to begin with, y'all. So this is just a little oh, bit of olive oil so and good. olive oil and bacon fat. All right, now look, pull, come in closer now. Okay. You see how this onion right here is starting to get brown on the edges? Yes. All right, that's oh. what you're looking for right now. So now what I want to do, follow me. Looks like the hibachi. Well, don't follow me yet. I'm gonna cut open this steam bag because it's cooled off a little bit. So these are the ones you bought in the bag fresh yep. and already just steamed in the microwave. Yeah, and I just partially steamed them. So you're just gonna steam them 
or you'll know that they're done if you're boiling them. You just take them in a colander like this and dip them down in boiling water. They'll go from green to real bright green like that. That's how you know they've blanched enough. They're real, real bright green. Look, I'm dripping water all over the place. So do you just like half the instructions on the back? Are there instructions yeah. in the bag? Yeah, and you just whatever it, like it is, halfway? half. Mm -hmm. That's okay. it. All right. So you just want to make sure the green beans are relatively dry because we don't want that water to hit the oil and splatter too bad. So now we're going to just dump the green beans in. Did you get that? Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to let this, I'm going to stir this in, all that good bacon taste, all that onion, do you see that? Alright, so now, burn, what I'm going to do is lower the heat just a touch, and now I'm going to add in that butter. So I don't know how much it is, you just add in what you like, I happen to like butter. Boop, boop. Oh, shame. Listen. God doesn't naturally season vegetables. Sometimes it needs help, y'all. And he told I mean, me, he told me it was all right. So now you're just gonna melt that all down in there, motherfucker. I'm no trying judgment. not to swear, no Lord judgment. Jesus. No judgment. In the name of Jesus, y'all. I'm really trying not to swear. But you understand what's happening right now? Oh. And Look if how you're green, that is. And that's why you really wanna. It's not gonna be green for long. Trust oh, me. Okay. Um. You have to understand, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna add some wine to it. I don't think it's not. Uh, Actually, I didn't give a recipe, so I just do what the hell I want. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add wine to it now, y'all. And I cannot open a wine bottle to save my life, so this ought to be entertaining. Can Thanks you... to our neighbors for... Uh... Thank you, um, Andy and the gaff. Oh, Jesus. I had to go over there like an hour ago and borrow a quarter. Y'all, I really don't know how to do don't this. Drink. Does anybody have any advice for me? <laughs> y'all, make sure your butter's not burning. Wait, how do you, how, you just keep, just keep it moving? You'll, um, come here. You'll see when it starts to foam a little bit too much. Yeah. That's how you know when the, your butter start, is too hot. You want to just keep it at a nice sizzle. Once it starts to foam up and it turns white, then you're, you're burning that shit, honey. What number? Uh, right now, it's on just like four, four and a half. So you just keep mixing everything together. Yeah, you just keep mixing everything together. Right now, these are all the oil ingredients. So we're trying to, we're basically kind of searing, sauteing everything together. You know, so you just kind of leave it be. Just let it rest. Let it think about things. <laughs> Constantly. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of that all-purpose flour, y'all. Oh, shit, I'm going to make a mess. All right, let me rinse out this bowl because I meant for it to be for I'm going to show what it looks like right now. Oh, boy. Chad, see, the good thing is it doesn't even end up tasting or smelling like green beans. Like... It kind of smells like... It really doesn't taste anything like that. It smells fresh at the farmer's market because of the onion, but then it kind of smells like the sand. All right, so now what I'm doing, y'all, is I'm just taking a little... This just like a little flour, you know, maybe about three, oh. two or three tablespoons, you know, because all I'm going to do is just dust the pork chops. I'm not going to like... Okay. You know, I'm just going to dust them a little bit because I like a real good brown on my pork chop, y'all. I don't mess around with that. So let me go ahead. Go ahead and preheat your skillet for your pork chops. Go to Put it to like... You know, that started out pretty hot. So like a six or seven, medium high, or uh, yeah, medium high heat. Cool, says you have to make sure that's some good wine. You can make sure it's not too sweet, not too rancid. You just gotta like, well, I just told the, is our, um, I just told the lady at the grocery store, I need you to find me a white wine that costs about $5.99. And, and so this is what she gave me. Barefoot! <laughs> You remind me, I need to open up this wine. Pooey, you're like our sommelier. <laughs> Does anybody have any, listen, sommelier, you got any uh, advice for me on this? Do I need to turn the bottle or the corkscrew? Y'all see how often we drink wine, right? Is this right? Am I doing this? Oh, Jesus, is this right? Uh, wait. Don't how deep do I go in there? Am I just gonna blow, it's gonna, it's gonna explode. Does this blow up? I, sh I shook it. No, it's, I don't think it's, I don't, no, I don't think it's like. Oh my thing. God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, don't scream! <laughs> look, look, food, wine. Don't drink. God is so good, y'all. Yes, he is. Wait. Turn up the heat. Turn up the heat. Be quiet and turn up the heat. All right? I just put a little wine in there. I'll hold that wine. <laughs> hold on. One for the homies. <laughs> oh, Pua, it's delicious. I'm opening up my um, uh, balsamic fences. What kind of white wine is this? Julie says barefoot. we have a little close up on it. Yeah. Uh, it's barefoot 
Pinot Grigio American. Good old Pinot. Pinot. You get a Grigio. You get a Grigio. All right, y'all, look. I'm opening up this um, balsamic vinegar, and this is sealed tight in the damn wine. What the hell? All this fancy shit. All right, so y'all, look. On food, watch this. Okay. What, did you get hypnotized by my beauty? Yeah, you draw me in. Oh, look how good that looks. Mm -hmm. um, the seal is not coming off. Of it. Okay, there we go. So y'all, now as you know, I'm look close. Are you are you yeah. seeing it? Just a touch, you know, just like maybe a teaspoon of it, and you'll see, and honey, don't put your nose over it unless you have bad sinuses. You need to clean them bitches out, honey. Because as soon as I, I that um vinegar hits it, whoop, whoop, you smell that baby. Yeah, I do. You smell good. Mm. It smells finished. You know, it smells like. Mm. Nice All right, y'all. So basically, stick your finger in there. Hold on. Ooh. All right, so now we're going to let this simmer. We're going to hit these pork chops, y'all. So what I did is I put a little flour in this pan. Let me lower this heat. I'm going to lower it to about Hold medium. It it's easier for me to see. It's okay, medium. Uh, by the way, these green beans, I'm going to take down to like medium low. Like just below medium, you know? What number? Like, let's say three. Okay. I like, I like definitives. You're not going to remember this because you have no food memory, but that's all right. So <laughs> I'm going to take my garlic powder, y'all. I'm just going to put a little garlic powder. Can you see? Yeah, in the flour. It's white on white. In the so. flour. There we go. <gasps> that's a lot of garlic. Well, I'll just put more. Maybe a little less for y'all, but I do like a little garlic taste, so it ain't wrong. That's nothing wrong for still. me. Hold it still, baby. I'm not holding the camera. Yeah. Why do I have to hold it still? All right, so we've got a little garlic. I'm going to add a little salt, a little pepper, pepper, salt. Basically, you know, I'm just making a nice little, um, I'm a, a little dusting for my muscles, you know? All right. All right, so I've been heating up this pan right here, this big old roasted pan. This raw bacon here is starting to squeeze me out. Hold on, i got to move it. Ugh. I feel like my boob keeps brushing across the top of it. All right, so now we're going to add in just a little olive oil, y'all. We'll say one, two, uh, three tablespoons. And I'm using three tablespoons because it's a big pan, and I just need everything. I just need the olive oil to touch when I pour it in the pan. I don't want it deep. I just want it to touch. Once you pour it in there, it all needs to just to touch. You want it to look like the top of an oil spill. Like a real thin layer. Terrain! <laughs> All right. Stir your green beans. Oh dear God! Look, do you see how oh. everything's starting to merge together now? Now you, oh. now the green beans are starting to look good, y'all. Cause I need to lose all the green in them beans. Otherwise, I ain't eating none. All right. <laughs> you so, see, Constance. So y'all. That sound like. So look, y'all. So I'm gonna take the. Um, actually, I'm gonna move this out of the way while I do this. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the pork chops. I'm just going one time in the flour on each side. Oh. So you're frying them? Uh, kind of. It's like a pan sear. And let me tell you, well, this time, yes, I did wash the pork chops. Hmm. Just so y'all know. Wait, what's the difference between this and frying it? Like well, you're not... Well, I mean, it's kind of like... I said it's a pan fry. Oh, okay. I just said it's not a deep fry. It doesn't float in the oil. Because with the flour, what it does is it creates a nice um, coating. And so it actually creates a crust. So you're not actually not absorbing the oil. You're actually mm. just cooking with it. That's it. You're just making a nice crust. And when you're cooking them, even if you have to do two batches, y'all, don't have them touching together. Just let, let them, you know, have their little space, you know? So what number is it on now? Uh, right now it's on a six. I have it on a six because this skillet gets a little hotter than my re than a regular like, it's just, like thing, you know. But if it was a regular skillet, I'd have it on like a seven or eight. Who was it? That's what's up. <laughs> All right. All right. So, and the reason I'm using a lot of this fat is also I'm going to use it to um, make the gravy. And did you do anything to the pork chop after you took it in the package? You just washed it? Uh, I washed it and I dried it uh, on paper towels and then I just put it in here. But you don't have to like cut anything off of it or anything. No, I actually got the um, boneless, or I got the um, boneless pork loin chops. 
So they're already trimmed and everything, you know. It's the uppity pork chop. It's, you know. Okay. It's, it's the, the kind I'll eat. <laughs> it's on the kind they sell at Target, basically. You know, buy what you can get. Linda and Glenda are all caught up. All right, so. How they doing? How's everybody doing? Who all's cooking with me? Yeah, who all is actually cooking with me? I know Bernadette, Linda, Bern, Glenda. Linda, Glenda. Now, I don't want you to move around your pork chops too much, y'all, but you just use one that's kind of like a guinea pig. You need to check on this and make sure it's not getting too hot. Bern, your... did we use the chicken stock yet? No, we're, we're, we're getting ready to. Not yet, we're getting ready to. Bern, you're like always two seconds ahead. I like your style. The chicken stock is actually going to be the major base for the gravy, y'all. Mmm, this looks good. All right, so y'all, you see, uh, how's your pork chops doing? Is everyone's browning, or is it kind of sizzling <laughs> okay? Says her stuff is thinking, just like you said. <laughs> yeah, it's just thinking. Oh, Christy's making some. Now, if you have to turn it up just a little bit, you know, just to kind of, you know, you need to shoot a couple of bullets at its feet to make it dance, then go ahead. But I don't really know how you know to turn it up. You listen. You listen to your food. You remember when I first put it in there? Yeah. Like, if it was too hot, it would have went, shh, like last week when like I put that chicken in chicken. there. Now, when I put it in there this time, it just kind of hummed a precision tune. It said, <laughs> oh, it sings to you. Okay. Yeah, it didn't sound like Courtney Love. It sounded like Bette Midler. Now, go ahead and turn them. If they got, that's what you're looking for. You want a nice little, just a nice golden kind of brown on them. Because they're also going to keep cooking once you put them in the gravy. You understand? But we're just making a nice little crust. And you may want to, you know, brown yours a little bit more, but. Oh, that one's gonna brown more. That ain't working for me, y'all. I'm gonna turn this heat up. Make it. Like, dance, pool boy, dance. So now you look at it and you're like, oh, it's not, it's not enough yet. That ain't enough. So you just wait. Like I said last week, this is an expression of love to your family. So take your damn time. <laughs> and, and if you're cooking for just yourself, then it's an expression of love to yourself. So take your damn time. You know, this is food. You're making your, this is fuel for your body, honey. For your soul, think about life, you know? Forgive, this is what I do. When I look at food like this, I think about how blessed I am and I just start forgiving some of the nasty ass people that's been in my life. <laughs> Starting at like two years old. This is your forgiveness food? Yes, honey, this is forgiveness chops. That's what I'm gonna call these. Forgiveness chops. All right, now that's that is to my liking. That, there you go. All right, so now that's what it looked like when you turned it. Those All right, in just a second, I'm gonna take these off. Can you the side of it? The side? Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'll show you the oh, side okay. when it's the, this side brown. Okay. All right. So now we want to brown it on the other side, y'all. And you might have to crank that heat up again. You know, just play. I go back and forth with the heat. I don't know what they tell you to do in cooking school, and I don't really care because I don't like tests. So, but this is how I do it. Oops, that one fell off. You have to like. Oh. So add good. anything else in here or does it just get drier and drier? It gets drier and drier. Like that needs off. a touch of more salt to me. So just taste it before those beans are all the way cooked through or you ain't never going to get salt in those beans, honey. Chrissy says any salt and pepper on the top. Yeah, he put, remember he put the yeah. salt and Salt and pepper in the, in the flour and also on the chops. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder on everything, honey. That Trust me, everything. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Um, these are sizzling now. All right, they're making the right noise. Mm. So that's got the right brown on it for me. But you know it's done, you gotta cut it It's open. not done yet. I'm not oh. done cooking them yet. So now I'm just gonna lower this heat because I'm getting ready to start the gravy. Gotcha. Actually, I'm gonna throw the onions in. So just a little bit brown on the outside, but you're not really worried if it's cooked on the inside yet or not? No, not at all. So okay. don't, be, don't be licking the damn, don't be tasting them right now. Don't be slicing off the edge, you're gonna end up with worms. Yes, my mouth is watering. It actually- Get on there! Out. Okay, all right? So y'all, all right, so I've lowered the heat down to about four now. Uh, actually, no, let me take it up to about six. I'm gonna take it up about five or six because I'm gonna add these onions in. And the reason I slice these in bigger chunks is just because when I reach for some gravy, and I'm so jealous that all y'all have a whole onion to work with. Mm -hmm. um, but when you reach for some gravy, you know, nobody wants to have to fish for a damn onion, you know? So you still got the pot, same heat. All right, there should be sound now. Is there sound? Tell them what happened. Somebody needs to call and cuss out my parents right now because first of all, they don't even know that I'm doing this and they just willy-nilly calling. Well, right in the middle of this while I'm doing this on my phone. That's a lot of nerve. Anyway, real life, y'all. 
I'm gonna cuss some bitches out after this. All right? See, Scott and Helen, y'all ain't the only ones. <laughs> I cuss everybody out. All right? Willy nilly. All right, you see this? Yeah. These onions? All right, so now I'm gonna take these onions. I'm gonna push them to the side. You push them to the side in your damn skillet, y'all. And take it off the heat, this you know, this portion of where your onions are. Because now I'm about to make me a little gravy base, y'all. And this is Bernadette. This is where you're going to use a little more wine and your stock, honey. This is where you're going to use your chicken stock. Are y'all with me? Speaking of wine, y'all, I've been back in here. Every time you hear, that's me picking up and putting down the Okay, so I use butter when I make my gravy. I don't mess around with oil, none of that. So let me add some more butter. I love this new butter you can get. This butter is great. It's very, it's um... It. It's like pure tasting. You know, it's very, you know... <laughs> but it's Danish. So what did the Danish say? It's very dirty, dirty, dirty. All right, so here. Yep. All right, so now I'm making gravy, y'all. So make sure the shit's not too hot. That was too hot, y'all. Six. So now I'm gonna take it back down to like four. You know, we just don't want it too hot. Let me get my flour out. So get your flour. To the side. Other stuff still cooking on the same temperature. Or did you turn it down even lower? Other stuff is still on the like. I, I lowered it because it was making too much noise. Look at it. Just show them. You do a lot of listening to your food. Yes, you listen to your food. Your food will tell you what's going on, the smell and the sound of it. You don't need anything else. All right. So look, I'm gonna add some butter. That's one tablespoon. That's none of your damn business. All right. So you just added mm -hmm. some butter. Now you're gonna like eyeball just about the same amount of like flour. So y'all look. I'm just gonna make a mess. I'm just gonna put some flour in there. You see, I'm just sprinkling a little flour in there. Don't be mixing it with no liquids, nothing like that. Rip my hands and work with it quick. All you're doing is it's called, I don't know, I'm sure you've watched this on the Food Network, it's called a roux. So this is the base of like all Cajun food, all those stews, all that stuff. All you're doing is you're cooking the flour down and you're creating a, something, a thickening agent to make the base for your gravy, y'all. So don't cook it too high and you, oh, it's, you smell that butter. Yes. It'll start Look to smell. You see it's starting to foam. So now when it starts to foam like that, I lift it up off the heat. Cause that means it's cooked. Remember I said it, um, the butter will start, when it starts to foam, you're about to burn it. And so it, take it off the heat, it's done. So now you're just gonna add your, your um, stock. The whole carton. Well, you just start with a little bit, mix it in there. Cause you wanna make sure you don't get lumps. So the best way is just to start mixing it and you can see it's starting to thicken so then I add more This will keep you from this will give you a good consistency on it And now you can start to stir in your onions from the side of the pan You see Oh, it smells so good it Smells like Thanksgiving in here. All right y'all now I'm gonna cut it with a little wine now y'all what uh, the hell I don't know what happened to it <laughs> right here Half of it's gone. So now I'm going to do like maybe a quarter of a cup or just, you know, whatever the hell you ever you Not too much, you know, you don't want it to taste like grapes. But just a little bit to kind of give it that restaurant flavor. Now I'm going to add a little garlic powder to it now. Oh. Just a little touch. Do you put any more salt in it or is there like salt in Well, I'll water? taste it. I'm going to taste it right now and see. Add a, actually, I'm going to add a little more stock. Let me get close to it. Mm-hmm. Now you're starting to see, you see it's how it's starting to get real nice, and it's nice and smooth because you cooked that flour in that butter okay. before. So now, it, when you stir it in the liquids, it just seamlessly went in there. Now it's all smooth. I'm gonna add in some more broth. Pua, it's like he's reading your comments with his mind. Like every time Pua says something, like two seconds later, that's exactly what you do without me even saying anything. She's like, ooh, put some more broth up in there. Yeah, honey, I know how to make gravy. I'm from the South. Don't doubt me. Just watch me, okay? Glenda says it looks, Glenda's looks just like yours. All right, so now look. Now I'm adding in the pork chops, y'all. Throw those bitches in there because you need those to finish cooking. So now we're going to crank up the heat a little. I'm going to add a little bit. I know that the gravy's right now. So now I'm going to add this in there. Same temperature. Same temperature. Just go ahead and get them coated in there. And really, these pork chops will be done in like, we're going to crank the heat up to like maybe, well, it's on a two or three right now. Just leave it on a two or three. I'm going to need to add a little bit more stock. And you know, this is where you're going to see, you know, like your consistency of everything. So taste everything. Bernadette says hers looks like yours and she can't even believe it. So look, 
Now, listen, mine needs a little bit more salt. So all I do is I mix a little salt in them. Instead of getting it back on those chops, I put just a little bit of salt in the middle. You see? Yeah. And then that little, and then you take it and stir that in there real quick. Now the rest, as you stir it, it'll just flavor the rest of that gravy. It'll just kind of mix in there, you know? So you put it in the gravy, not on the pork chop. Well, yeah, just try not to get any more on the pork chop because you've already got plenty of season on the pork chop. And it just, it's better if it gets in the gravy because the gravy really is where all the flavor is. And that's what's going to seat down into your rice. You know how my yeah. rolls, my rolls are perfect. All right. All right, so now you just let this shit sit, y'all. So let's make us some honey butter. Let me rinse my hands real quick. I'm going to give y'all an update on the green beans. So I'm going to give these a start. Yeah, I'm going to start these green beans too. Now these are done in my opinion. I think these are done. Yeah, they look good. They got gray, they're done. So just turn it on low, turn it on off, and leave it. Your green beans are done, y'all. Taste them. The shit is good. Taste it right now. <laughs> Let me wipe my bread. I need a paper towel. How's your fan doing? My fan is fabulous. I need one that um, hangs over the top of my head like a halo and blows down at an um, 85 degree angle. Like it hangs up here and just blows straight down, you know? <laughs> All right, y'all, look at this gravy. Now, you have to wash this gravy, honey, because sometimes, you know, if you were a little heavy-handed on that flour, sweetheart, <laughs> it'll thicken up on you. So you just keep on adding your adding your thing, add a little chicken stock. But you just want it to keep simmering for about five, ten minutes. And then um, you'll know when the pork chop is done because, you know, you'll cut one and it'll either look done, which is the meat is white, or um, not done, which is pink, because I don't mess around with pork, honey. Make sure that shit's done. But these um, loins cook really quick. There's not a lot of um, fat in them, so they just kind of like, you know. Look at that, y'all. How does y'all so look? Does good. it look good? Everybody says theirs look so good. All right, so these green beans are done. I'm gonna get these rolls. I actually got these, these finished right before we were done, y'all. So let me get my mess out of the way. Cause we're gonna plate this up here real quick. Cause it's just about done, y'all. Yeah, Can you believe that? It's done. That's a damn meal right here, y'all. This is a meal and a half. Trust me, you can serve this to anybody. So let's make some honey butter. Actually, no, I'm lying. Let's clean up a little bit. I need all this um, pork come up and off the counter. Hold on one second. I need to wipe that counter with something that ain't mm. spray or something. So how's everybody doing? How's your food looking? Everybody says it looks great. Constance says it looks so good. All right, and just keep an eye on things. You see, I'm, I started to hear it, so I'm gonna just check on it again. You see? Just, kinda, bubble just bubble just a little bit. Um, I think this is pretty much done for me. Cause you know, this um, the, the pork loin chops, y'all, it's kind of like white meat chicken. You don't have to cook it to death. Like, a, like, a, like if you get a really cheap chop, like with the bone in it, then you need to cook the hell out of it. But like these right here, they cook just like chicken. Cece says night night. Night night. Okay, so y'all cleaned up our mess a little. Night night, Cece. Now we're just gonna make some honey butter, and that's real easy. Guess what the ingredients are? Honey and butter. And a little sunshine. Hi. So let's just add some butter in here. I'm gonna add um, what is this? This is a half a cup of butter. Half a cup of butter. Are you All right. Just put it in the I just put it right there. Well, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I do my honey butter a little bit different than most people. Ooh, that looks good. Mm. What are you doing? Taking a little, like, honey shot? Ooh, ooh, ooh a dance. Y'all look. Wait, where you going? Ooh. You see what I'm doing? I'm just coating that honey, or coating that butter a little bit. Mm. I like equal parts, because this is what I do. Now you use the microwave. Like, you know, like 30 seconds or so. Put back to the honey butter right there. You can go ahead and lower your chops all the way to low, y'all. He made bread earlier. That's why I said um, the rolls of your choice. If it was me, it would be these yeast rolls, the Parker House style, or those Hawaiian rolls. You remember those ones we had the other day? Oh, they were so good. That was good. Whoa. Hey, baby, your spatula's in that thing again. What? Oh. Mmm, that. Oh, good. All right. You're just melting the butter and the... um. Honey together, y'all, is all you're doing. Can you put the bone over here so they can see in here? Mm 
That's all you're doing, just melting it together, making it delicious. Okay. Woo! You see this? This is also really good on like waffles. It's also good if you make like those um, Pillsbury um, cinnamon rolls. Uh, throw that frost and it comes with it away and use this, trust me. This that is so is much true. better. Put a little orange juice concentrate in it. Okay. Now, uh, don't judge me because only God can judge me. Oh. This is how I like my rolls, y'all. Oh, shame, shame, shame. Look at that. You understand? No, you didn't. Okay. Mm. I saw a couple of dry spots. We can't have that, no. y'all. No. Allie says she never thought of that. I didn't, wouldn't have thought of that either. All right, y'all, right out of the oven. Now, it's going to soak right in there, and the tops of them are going to stay just glistening. And when you bite into it, you'll see it has like a layer of yellow. It's beautiful. beautiful. Everybody said, damn you, Justin. All right, y'all. So, y'all, look. So, I made some rice earlier. It's just some regular old rice. If you don't know how to make rice, then you shouldn't be cooking, okay? Just follow the instructions on the box. Uh, and I'm about to plate this shit up, y'all. We're done cooking! Tiffany would like to know where you learned to cook. Um, I was hungry. Uh, my mom, actually I grew up in an Italian home. She'll be cooking with me next week, hopefully. Um, but basically I just grew up in an Italian home. She was always like over some pot or pan, you know, complaining and making a spaghetti sauce. So, um, I really, I'm really good at both, complaining and making food. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Yeah. So let's go ahead and plate this up, y'all. What do you think? Yes. Yes. Actually, I'm going to check these pork chops. Let me flip these things and make sure they're done. It smells so good, y'all. So, you know, that's just a quick little nice meal for your family. And, and listen, your man's going to love you. Your woman's going to love you. You're going to love you. Listen, anybody's going to love you for this shit. Yeah. All right, so let's make a plate, okay? Uh, let me grab one. Don't, get, don't look in the damn dishwasher. Linda said, you didn't tell us the pre cooked that rice. Damn. Huh? Oh, that plate. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. Um. Well, what? You don't know how to cook rice? I said rice. She said you didn't tell him to do it in advance. Oh well. Cook rice. <laughs> Betty says noodles would work. Noodles, mashed potatoes, um, egg noodles would be good. Yeah. Why are you Why are you grinning at me? Because you're so cute. Okay, look. So I'm gonna. You're I'm so gonna, excited. I am. I'm. Well, I'm excited to eat. So y'all, let's go ahead and. And I always put a little salt and pepper in my rice, and a little, I put a little, just a touch of garlic uh, when I boil my water for the rice, too. Stir it up good, y'all. Somebody asked me once if I strained the oil on my green beans, and I just let the air out of their tires. Mm -hmm. That's against your face. You see how I'm doing this? Yeah. And I always scoop from the bottom. Like, I come up from under the green bean like that, so I get everything. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. Come up from under it, and I just kind of roll it onto the plate, you know? Make it messy. Then you have a reason to grab one. Lick your damn fingers. All right, so you now. I one of these pork chops. Actually, let me check make sure they're done. Oh, yeah. That ain't done. It's not? Nope. It needs to be. It needs to cook longer. Wait, show not done because I would. Not done is up. this. Well, first of all, a pork, uh, um, a loin. You see, that's too pink. Get close. You see? Well, you can. It's got. You can. It's still pink. You gotta wait. So we're gonna wait a minute, y'all. So we're gonna set this to the side. Keep cooking your damn chops, or you're gonna get worms. All right. So we're gonna put this plate in here and just wait for a moment. Little girls, little girls, everywhere I go, I see them. Hey, did you finish your stories? Surely I would get honey queen What now? Did you finish your stories what from earlier? What stories? With your flip book. Yes, I did finish my stories from earlier. I, I think a lot four. of people didn't see them. Oh, what? People want to hear it? Uh, I don't think people want to see the stories again. Okay. They can watch the uh, broadcast back. There you go. How does that fan work, Pua says? It is amazing, y'all. It is so good. Listen, as this is cooking more, 
I'm just adding a little bit more broth because it will keep on thickening up on you, you know. All that steam coming out is coming from somewhere. That's your liquid. But you know what I need to do while we're waiting? What? Now, mm -hmm. let me show you. That's what I was talking about. Now, you see it's got that layer, that beautiful layer of yellow. Yes. <laughs> let me show you something. <laughs> I would leave you for this. <laughs> if this showed up at our door with a checkbook and a suitcase, I'd be like, where are we going? <laughs> Wait, I want to try some. Mm. Let them see you eat this. Well, turn it around on me. How did you do that? Oh, it's warm. Hit the button. Hey, y'all. I'm about to eat one of these myself. Mmm. Y'all, that's so good. It's very honey delicious and stuff. Mm-hmm. Hey, buddy. Don't know I like, I gotta have my three minutes on camera time. Woo! How's everything look, y'all? How's your food looking? Mmm. My God, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's say about five more minutes. <laughs> Alice, that one three minutes. I know. What? I said I got have my three minutes of camera time. She said that wasn't three minutes. So y'all have any questions? Did anybody have any difficulties, issues, anything like that? Linda says theirs looks great. So y'all, I gotta show you my shirt. I got it for Father's Day. Belly check, baby. What do you think? Look at this. I was so excited. I found this shirt. Don't feed me after midnight. Your mama wouldn't let you watch that show. Yes, y'all. This, um, actually, my mother, I went to the Church of God, and um, my mom had all these friends that she would have these little prayer groups and things like the Women's Aglow meetings, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and basically, oh, I'm going to turn this on low since we're waiting on these chops. Um, basically, she just, um, I think it was her friend Rosebud. Some, yeah, it was her friend Rosebud. She had a friend named Rosebud. Rosebud, I think Rosebud, it was Rose, uh, Wessel at the time. She told her that, you know, by if we watched He-Man, if she allowed uh, her kids, me and Jeremy, to watch He-Man, uh, that it was basically inviting the devil into our home because mm -hmm. there was a character on there called Beast Man. All right, and then there was um, another, uh, what was the other thing she said? It was He-Man and the Gremlins. Oh, yeah, my story. The gremlins, that by watching those, it was basically inviting demons into your home by going to that movie and supporting it. And so, uh, my mom led the Calvary against the gremlins. <laughs> the Pentecostal Calvary, y'all. Show your shirt again. It's so cute. Nice. Mm -hmm. Show your shirt again. Hey, I can make him wink. Oh, see, now now my pork chops are bleeding. Now that's how I know they're, they're almost done. What does that mean? Well, I mean, when you cook like meat. Like actual blood is coming out of them? Well, yeah, baby. They don't, I mean, it's a muscle you're eating when you eat meat. Oh, let's not talk too much about oh, that. Oh, hush your mouth. You would die without it. Mm. A vegetarian would argue with you, but they just need attention. Listen, if you didn't want to make pork chops, though, like say you wanted to make the chicken. Chicken, chicken cutlet, you can do, um, uh, if you were real, um, Effed up, you could do veal, but you know, I wouldn't cook veal. Duck. Duck would be fabulous, but I have no idea how to cook duck, and I don't know why someone would. Okay. But that's up to them. That might be like a French thing. I think French people like duck. Who is this? Can you just eat it already? She wants to see you eat it. I'm not eating raw pork, Pula. Fuck you. I'm not getting salmonella. I love you, but a I ain't eating salmonella. Cut, a turkey cutlet. A what? A turkey cutlet? Yeah, Leilani says a turkey cutlet. I don't even know that I've seen a turkey cutlet. Uh, what is a turkey cutlet? I don't know. A cut of a turkey, I guess. Leilani, we both kind of big. I don't think we don't eat things like that have cutlet in the title typically. <laughs> no, not really. How's it going, Linda and Glenda? Is y'all done yet? All right, now I am going to eat some uh, one of these little pieces that I cut up, y'all. So here I'm going. Y'all go ahead and um, I'm sure y'all's is done. Maybe mm. not. But I need to go ahead and eat something, because listen, I'm going to get cranky. I know. Can't have that. You're making posts. Oh, God, it's true, y'all. I'll be mad. I've pissed my whole family off. And, you know. <sighs> this looks good. 
I just say oh, things I shouldn't say sometimes. Oh, you ladle gravy. Yeah, you got to gravy that, uh, gravy that ladle, ladle that gravy. You know, this ain't fancy, y'all. Do you understand? Pua, people are scared of pork around here. I don't know about you. We scared of our pork products, Pua. <laughs> no pink in the pork. That's a good rule of thumb for the dating. True. Okay, look. Look. Fancy to me. How's I that? Baby Tammy, look at this. Ooh. All I, done, y'all. I married up, y'all. I married up. My goodness. All right, here. You hold this plate right there for them to gaze at. I'm just not eating. Put your thumb on the chip on the plate, please. I was trying to cover up the chip on the plate with my thumb. I mean, have a little glass. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. I have a going away song I'd like to play for y'all. Cause I'm done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Okay. I am a lucky woman, Lori. It is the truth, truth, truth. Look at all these over here. Ooh. It's not even that messy. I don't know what that. Hold on. I'm trying to find a damn fork. Oh. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna use the arm. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I'm about to try this. I'm show. Oh, baby, don't you wish you was trying this right now? Yes, I do. All right, y'all. I know my daddy would love this meal. Oh, dear God. You see that? Mm. Oh, I just had spit come out of my mouth. <laughs> you see how that... Mm-hmm. Listen. This will get you a man. This will get you a man. That's it. I love y'all. Love y'all. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your time together. And please post pictures of your food. Please, 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 please. Even if you forget, post pictures of your mouth with the food on it. And I have something to show you. This is what I think. This is my recommended beverage to go with this meal. Uh -huh. Oh, God, that pork chop is so good. IBC root beer, y'all. You drink your IBC root beer with this, you might get two men. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Two men, two women. Look. Love you guys. That's your meal for the night, y'all. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. It means the world to me. We're doing this all on our own, so I couldn't do it without you. Thank you. Bye, y'all. I love you.